Hey guys, I'm back. I'm sorry I haven't posted in a while. I've been busy. <coughs> Just been haven't been very active. Well, back today with thoughts on that sniper I did with the title Cool Stairs Off Sniper. The Amoeba Striker. This is it right here. Replaceable. Uh, these are the bullets. If you untreat these, you can take the sling and put it on this side. And then this whole back piece and this will pop off. Now, I got this scope for V Life for 20 bucks or something. I didn't want to spend a whole lot. Well, I know that's important to a sniper. Comes standard at 400 FPS, but my average that I found was a 198 or not 198 398 sorry that's what I got was a 398 that's where I found for my average so yeah sorry and then you have a couple complaints about the gun first of all feeding issues it's bad I have after every, I load a mag up with, say, 45 rounds, and I come out and I have, still have three left here that come out. They don't feed the last three. Just one complaint. Now this is getting down to the nitty gritty right here for complaints. This mag does wiggle in the mag, so I don't know if that will affect it. Maybe a whole lot. Don't know, but. That's it. I mean, that's not it for the gun. I still got more to go over. Uh, hate, absolutely hate. I mean, hate, 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 hate. Cannot stand where the sling point is right here. Where am I at? Like right there. Cannot stand where it is. Because to take this poor gun apart, you have to put this in. And just to sling this thing is a pain. Okay. Also. I would recommend cleaning this gun probably every 100, 130 shots and uh, adjust your hop up after that. But to take off the body of the gun, you got this screw, of course this one up here, and you got the trigger guard screw right here. So once you, if you take this one off, the trigger guard pops off, it pulls out of the mag well, it's simple. Pull this off and then your outer barrel just screws off. I mean, it's really simple, but I found out if I clean this about every 100 shots, it shoots a lot nicer, and I would recommend taking, uh, I take rubbing alcohol, and I put it on the barrels and all the metal par parts inside to keep them from oxidizing and rusting, so, yeah. And another big complaint I have is the feeding tube. You would think if this is what you need to load the rifle, that um, this is gonna work well. Well, it does not work well at all. I mean, at all. I've already broken one side off. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, right there. I broke that side off. And then this side right here, that little skinny piece right there, it's flimsier than crap. It's like the same one on the other side. I about broke it off, so. And then. Once you get it like past, I think it was 20 rounds, 23 rounds when I measured it out, it was harder than crap to push this rod to get it into the thing, so. Now BBs, I like to use, are the Elite Force 32 gram. These are right here, 2700 count. Now, if you're on a super cheap budget, would I go for these in the long run? Yes. If you were gonna say you bought like a fifty dollar gun and you were gonna do three games, maybe go with something cheaper. These are twenty three bucks a bottle, which which is not outrageous, but it's just not like not the best. I mean, so now more details on this gun. Metal magwell right here. This oh, dang it, get this one shot. Metal mag magwell right here. I got one another complaint I have is plastic trigger. 
and plastic trigger guard. Not a big fan of that. One thing I am a super fan of is this bolt showing that it's primed right here. Because all you have to do is take like a little, ow, say, take this little wrench, which I use a lot, and I put right here and shove that in. It takes this little safety, not safety pin, but like a clip and it uh, clips it through and it pushes it. And then you can pull this firing pin out and then your uh, your bolt handle, your bolt carrier, will just pull out completely. So, overall at 400 FPS, I can get accurately to about, with this gun, I'm not saying that this, for other guns, I can get about 150 feet Texas. Accurately. Probably go a lot more than that, but that's counting accurately. So, yeah. Would I buy this gun again? Personally, I don't think I would. Counting, and another complaint I would, I'd probably put a different hop up rubber in. For sure, for that. Uh, other than that, once you turn, another complaint. Once you turn this hop up on this thing, it is loud. Like, super loud. But would I buy this gun again? No. I would not buy this gun again. Is it a decent starter sniper? I'll give it to Amiibo on that one. Yes, it's decent. It's good, actually. It's a very good gun, but for the time that I'm, I think you have to take... Because I... This is not the original outer barrel. I had to buy a different outer barrel because this outer barrel rusted. So it could, I'm just saying, it could be only this gun, but it could be the whole line. I got it wet and it rusted so bad and it looked like crap, so I was like, I'm not doing that. So, yeah. Overall, everything that I bought 20 bucks, 180 bucks I got. So you got 20, it was what? Oh yeah, another overpriced mags if you tell me. Twenty bucks for this mag. Yeah. So what my personal recommendation, yes, this is a good baseline sniper all the way. I'll give it to him that one hundred percent. But I've done some upgrades in it. I put a different hop up in it. I put different spring. It comes at a low FPS of four hundred FPS. Which 500, I haven't range test range tested it yet, but uh, with the small cylinder size of this gun, you're only gonna be able to get I th 650 probably with the spring. If I'm guessing somewhere around there. <clears throat> if you want to take a bunch of time, which I don't want to, and upgrade everything in this to make it better, you're probably gonna come out. The things that I looked at, two fifty, two hundred fifty dollars, which a baseline of one eighty. <coughs> so, yeah. Now, personally, what gun, if I had to, would we choose this sniper? Snow Wolf M24, hundred and ten bucks, great gun. Considerable considerably better than that gun so thank you guys for watching and uh if you didn't uh leave a like and subscribe bye